John, Mike, congratulations. You've both made it into the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home forges to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is... the Bardiche. Sweet. Vicious and menacing, the Bardiche was a favorite of Eastern European infantry soldiers during the 16th and 17th centuries. Its large crescent-shaped axe head measured nearly two feet at the edge and could cleave through flesh and bone. Specialized soldiers called streltsy would use the Bardiche's pole to balance their muskets for firing from a distance, then switch to their axe during melee combat. Though rare in American pop culture, you can experience the Bardiche's savagery on the virtual battlefield in the game Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. All right, let's do this. Day one, my name is Michael Peterson. I've been picking up a hammer before I could even ride a bike, learning and just going out there after my dad would get done forging and just tinker around smashing hammers. 23 years later, I'm still making blades. Oh yeah, now we got a good fire. I use a Coke Ford because it's what I grew up on. I'm using 5160. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful sound, ain't it? Move on to the handle. I'm gonna start shaping down here, leave less here. Turn on the grinder, got a belt on there. As soon as it gets going, yeah! It snaps, it hits me right in the chest. Ouch. These holes in the Bardiche blade make the blade a little lighter. OK. Got all the holes drilled all the way through. Yeah, looks pretty cool, I think. I'm feeling a little nervous about the heat treat. All right, the moment of truth. Lord, let this go well. I'm edge quetching, hoping for a hard edge and a soft spine, therefore reinforcing the blade. Here we go. Foul test. Oh, yeah, we got her. Yeah! Everything's ready to put together. I have a little concern about the weight. Just a like. <sighs> like that. A little bit front heavy does bother me a little. But at this point, not much I can do about it. My name is John Wager. I am 28 years old. One of the things I'm actually known for is I shave stuff into my chest. So one time I won a sweater contest by shaving a Christmas tree into my chest. So I thought, eh, why not win $10,000 shaving an anvil into my chest? I'm gonna try to just focus on the blade because this is the most important part of my build. I have to get the uh, blade heat treated. I don't got a quench tank big enough, so I had to fabricate a quench tank. I'm gonna see if it's liquid, so I know if I can fill it with my oil. Got some leaks. I might put some plastic in it and uh, maybe line it with tin foil to try to keep the heat away from the plastic. You may be wondering what's gonna happen when the oil gets hot inside there, and I may be wondering the same thing. Now I'm gonna stick my blade in the forge and normalize it a few times, and then I'm gonna go in for my heat treat. I just hope this thing holds up. I'm more worried about listening for cracks or anything than I am about burning my shop down at the moment. Then my oil starts leaking out. Who's on my oil? So I decided to take the blade out. But I think I got a hard blade. So today, I'll get to start on all the little detail work on the blade. I'm going to try to incorporate maybe like a dragon type thing on one side and maybe a bunch of uh, just design on the other. So then I'll put that in acid. It'll eat away everywhere beside the paint. And then after that, I'll wipe off all the paint. And you should get a nice, shiny uh, finish to, from where the paint was, and then kind of a rustic, patinaed look on the rest of the blade. So it's just one big piece of art, as well as a weapon. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To find out how lethal your weapon is, I will take your bardiche and deliver lethal chops on this big carcass. John, you're up first. You ready? Let's do it. Do this. <laughs> nice. Nice. Head right on, brother. All right, John, let's talk about your bardiche here. I love the swells. By putting these welds right there, it allows me to adjust my hand and get a good grip 
every time I move it around. Your blade right here is razor sharp. Cuts through spine, bones, and thick flesh. Overall, sir, your bardiche will kill. I got something to show you. Oh, sure. Kill test. <laughs> oh, it will kill. <laughs> good it. job. I'm glad I was hoping it kill because I'd do that. I did that. And, uh... well, good job. All right, Michael, your turn. You got anything to show me? Nope. All right. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, Michael, this is at least around 11 pounds, all forward weight. I waste so much energy in recoiling that could be used in attack. But overall, sir, your badish will kill. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test. A stump thump and steer smash. To test the strength and durability of your bardiches, as well as their overall construction, I'll be chopping mercilessly into these logs and cleaving that steer skull in half. Remember, this is all about what happens to your bardiche and not what happens to the wooden bone. John, you're up first. You ready? Let's do it. Awesome. Well, John, Woo. your uh, bardiche, it's got a nice weight to it. I'm not a huge fan of these undulations in the handle because I want to be able to move my hands around. I'm looking at the edge. It held up beautifully. Everything's still straight and tight. Good job. Thank you. Michael, you're up next. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope you ate your Wheaties. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, first things first, this thing is heavy. It's a beast. But uh, everything is still tight. There's no motion in it, even after all of that chopping and, and smashing of skulls. The edge held up really well, so well done. That's awesome. Yeah. Up next is the sharpness test, and for that, I give you to Dave. All right, gentlemen. Now, unlike the strength test, this is all about what your blades do to the target. So take a one shot right down the middle, trying to split those watermelon. Put half in one bucket, half in the other. All right, Johnny, you ready? Let's do it. OK. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, John. It feels good. It's got a good balance to it. The shape of this is really nice, the cutting edge, curved like that, cut through the watermelon beautifully. Sharp weapon. It's nice Thank and you. Done. Thanks. All right, Michael, you're up. Are you ready? Bring out the beast. OK. Ha, ha, ha. Well, right off, it's definitely sharp, but it weighs a ton. I like the design of this. But build strong doesn't necessarily mean build heavy. John, Mike, you bladesmiths have engaged in one of our most difficult competitions. However, only one of you can be the Forge of Fire champion. And that champion is... John, congratulations. Thank You're you. our new Forge of Fire champion. Mike, unfortunately, your weapon didn't make the cut. Please surrender your weapon. My experience here was definitely a challenge. It pushed me to my limits. I learned a lot. I might not be the Fortune Fire champion, but I still feel like I'm walking away a winner. John, congratulations. You're the new Forged and Fire champion, and that is a title that comes with a check for how much? 10 grand. Please present your bardiche to the judges. 
This is the most mentally, physically, emotionally stressful time, but also the best time of my life. Woo! Fortune Fire Champion. I'm super excited to get home and tell my wife about the great news, and now next thing coming up, I'm gonna be having a baby boy, so. Uh, I mean, this is a wonderful year, thank God.